Hi, it's April again at the Animal Hospital of Northwood. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to give an insulin injection to your pet. So just like humans, um, cats and dogs can be diagnosed with diabetes. Um, and so how we control that is with insulin injections, usually twice a day, um, and then your dose is gonna be um, instructed by your veterinarian. Um, so usually, um, the animals take the same insulin that people use, so you're gonna pick it up at the human pharmacy. You're gonna keep it in the fridge, I'm um, gonna be in a little bottle, um, and then once you're ready to give the insulin, you're gonna take it out very gently because it's expensive, and you're gonna roll it between your hands or give it just a gentle mix, again, over a soft surface, over a countertop, so you can't drop it and break it. That would be very, very devastating to you. Next, you wanna make sure you have the appropriate syringes for your insulin. So your veterinarian should have prescribed you the appropriate um, size and type because there are different types of insulin. Um, so there's different types of syringes to go with those different types of insulin. And so we wanna make sure they match because if not, you're giving the wrong dose and that can be catastrophic to your pet. Once we're for sure we have what we need, we're gonna open our bag of syringes and take out a brand new sterile syringe. You'll notice the bottom has a cap on it. This keeps it sterile so that there's no bacteria in this syringe. We wanna keep it that way and we wanna keep our bottle sterile as well. So we're gonna pop the bottom off. I like to get the plunger um, loose because sometimes it feels stuck when you're trying to inject. So especially if you're a new, um, new to giving insulin injections, you need all the tips you can get. So I just push my plunger as far up as it'll go, remove my cap, and you don't wanna set this down or touch anything, right? Keep it in your hand the whole time. Get your bottle, whenever you drop any sort of injectable solution, you're gonna hold it with your stopper upside down, and then you insert your needle into the bottle, and you wanna see where you can see your markings on the syringe. And I'm actually gonna go past my marking. So if this cat needs five units, you can see our five here. I'm gonna go past the five and then squish it up to the top of my black plunger before I remove my bottle. So you can see we have the bottom of the black here. That's not where we're looking. We're looking up here at the black, the very top of my plunger. And it's right on that number five line. So then I can go ahead and put my cap on my syringe until I'm ready to inject my cat. Um, and so if you have a helper at home, you could get your um, helper to get. Um, and then I wanna talk about the location of where to give the insulin injection. So for most pets, we're gonna give it in an area that has a lot of extra skin. And so um, that is the area right behind the shoulder blades. So behind the head, we'll pretend that this is a cat just for the moment. So here's our head here and our shoulders. Right, and so we're gonna pinch that loose skin between the shoulder blades and make a little tent. And so we have our A and we have our tent, and then we're gonna inject the insulin at a 45 degree angle. That way you don't go through it because you'll poke yourself and squirt the insulin out, and you're not going down because then, especially if your pet is skinny, you might hit them and cause pain. And insulin injection should be very painless and not be a big deal. Um, and so when I bring the cat in, this is what we're gonna be looking for, is our head, and then we'll pinch that skin and make our little tent. And so even when I'm holding my syringe, I'm holding it with my index and my thumb so that I'm able to get my indentation with another finger without depressing on my syringe, with the syringe part. You never want to have your finger here ready to go because by default, animals move and we're gonna squirt the insulin out before you've even gotten to your pet. Okay. So we have Nala here ready for her injection. So we have her facing how I had my fake towel cat facing. So we have her head up here, and then we're gonna use that skin here between the shoulder blades. See all the extra skin? And we'll make our tent. You can see our indentation. You can also use a little bit of rubbing alcohol if you're having a hard time. And in some cases, we'll shave the area. So I'm gonna decap my syringe. And again, I'm holding it in my thumb and forefinger. I'm going to feel for my indentation with my pinky and inject at a 45 degree angle, just like that. And see, Nala didn't even notice. You are a good patient, Nala. Um, and so then consult your area to see how you should dispose of your syringes. Um, and if you have any questions, please let us know. 
Diabetics are very sensitive, so make sure you talk to your veterinarian for any questions that you've had. And of course, everything I've just gone over is after your pet has already eaten. Never give insulin if you suspect that they are unwell, have not eaten, um, or are doing poorly.